myself, Professor Pawar B.K. from Department of Geography, JET Art Science and Commerce College for Women, Malegao. On behalf of this video presentation, I welcome you all. On Friday morning, visibility was zero. The smog was intensely irritating to the human beings, particularly to their respiratory systems. People soon developed red eyes, burning throats and nagging cough. Elderly and sensitive people were first victims. More than 4,000 people died before the fog disappeared on December 9, 1952. The term smog is a synchronym of smoke and fog. It can be coal-induced or photochemical smog. The coal-induced smog is popularly referred to as London smog. Since its nature is chemically reducing with high levels of sulfur dioxide, it is also called reducing smog and because it was truly a major air pollution disease, it has also been referred to as classical smog. From this incidence, people learn that air pollution can no longer be ignored. The episode was enough to pass the Clean Air Act in 1956 in England. However, London has experienced many air pollution disasters after December 1952. For example, in January 1956, 1000 people died. In December 1957, 700 people died. In January 1959, 200 people died. In December 1962, 700 people died. And in January 1963, 700 people they died because of this incident. All these casualties reveal the magnitude of loss due to air pollution in London. Now, we will see the next pollution case studies in regards with photochemical smog. During 1950, the city of Los Angeles in California became affected with serious air pollution due to large volume of traffic on streets. A photochemical smog was formed by the interaction of hydrocarbons and oxidants like carbon monoxide ozone in the presence of sunlight. It caused eye irritation, visibility reduction and damage to crops and rubber crackings. It was an oxidizing smog also called photochemical smog or Los Angeles smog unlike reducing London smog. Now we will see the subunit of photochemical smog that is how this photochemical smog is formed. Hydrocarbons and oxides of nitrogen react in the presence of sunlight to produce photochemical smog which contains ozone that is O3, hydrogen peroxides, organic peroxides, organic hydroperoxides, peroxoacetyl nitrate. Various reactions take place in the formation of photochemical slop. So, these photochemical generated radicals are reactive intermediates and undergo a series of reactions in the presence of ultraviolet light to form still more radicals which combine with number of pollutants in the air producing nitrogen dioxide, ozone and a number of toxic chemicals like aldehydes, formaldehydes, peroxyacetyl nitrates. Now we will see the characteristics of photochemical smog. The toxicity of photochemical smog is due to the presence of various toxic compounds. There are some of the distinctive features of such smog pan that is peroxyacetyl nitrate is the most toxic chemical found in the smog. It causes irritation of eyes and lungs and can cause even cancer. In plants it causes necrosis 
and chronic spots on the upper surface of leaves and blocks ill reaction photosynthesis and checks or controls the growth and productivity